Hi everyone, my name is Mark Kwok and we're talking about my favorite things. Today we're talking about the Rogue Territory Supply Jacket. So this is a really hot jacket right now. And the main reason for that is because this is actually a James Bond jacket. In the new movie, No Time to Die, Daniel Craig will be wearing this jacket. And it was in the trailer, so there was a bunch of press around it. It was super hot. I was able to get this months ago when No Time to Die was you know, set to launch. Obviously, COVID has changed all of that. We'll never know if this movie comes out or if this jacket's even really in the movie. If you look at the jackets in Skyfall or Casino Royale, like I own most of those jackets. It's like, it's a problem. This is one of the latest ones and I saw this and I was like, dude, I gotta get this jacket. It looks so cool. It's, in, it's considered the Ridgeline tan. I think that's what they call this. It's the supply jacket and it looks uh, very, very kind of rugged American, and it is an American company. They're not like a huge heritage brand, but they make some really, really cool stuff. Um, they particularly are about denim. This is wax cotton. Obviously the reason I got to this brand is because of the James Bond thing. And so I didn't know what to expect because I'd never heard of the brand before that. But once I got it, I was super happy with this jacket and I wear this jacket probably more than most jackets these days. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. So this jacket is made of wax cotton. It's super lightweight, kind of comfortable, but rugged, but looks kind of awesome. Looks like that old school American vibe. And I'm a fan of that. It's made of high quality material. So I'm not afraid of this being in the rain or if they're, if it, you know, of it getting torn or anything like that. It seems really strong and sturdy, but also I think they just styled it really well. Like I think they styled it for the modern man. So looking at the style of this jacket, it is very much kind of like, if you think about a denim jacket, it's very reminiscent of that. Like I do think they actually even make this in denim and not just this kind of wax cotton. And so if you like that denim jacket look, it's a little shorter, it's got those pockets in the sides here and you can wear it like a denim jacket where you roll up the cuffs. Like if you like that look, this is another texture, a different color that you can wear that style. This actually does match really well with like denim jeans. It matches well with just about anything. It's a neutral color. The great thing about this also is that even if you do get it smudged with stuff and and it gets dirty and it gets, you know, roughed out all over the different places. This is the type of jacket that actually looks good as it ages. Colors will look different across the jacket. Rips and tears and stuff will give it more character. Like, you can't say that about a lot of jackets. This, dude, like, this can be ripped up to shreds. It can be looking grungy and it looks all the better. It's kind of like sometimes if you have like a leather wallet or a leather bag or something like that, it just gets beat up. Eventually you're like, man, this thing looks awesome. Like it has my character and my wear and tear on it. Same can be said about jackets like this. I'm one of those people that loves kind of this, like you buy it once and then you use it for such a long time, that quality over quantity aspect. And these types of jackets where if you rough them up, if you get them kind of all messed up and you can still wear them and look good with them, like that's the type of product I wanna buy, not the one that I have to be really careful about. What else can I really say about this? I mean, it's sturdy, it feels good, it looks good. I think it fits quite well for my body frame. I think you should just go true to size. So I'm a small normally with a lot of things. So this is a small here and I think it fits great. It is a little slimmer than I'd say your generic sort of jacket out there. So if you're, you're kind of in between, I would take the size up. Now the jacket is fairly expensive. I think it's around between 250 and $300. Um, I got this on sale because I found like a coupon code uh, off Stag Provisions and I was able to get this closer to like 200 bucks. So, you know, I wouldn't say that's a cheap jacket by any means, especially a thin jacket like this. But, you know, within the realm of James Bond jackets, to be honest, that's like pretty affordable. For me, this was highly worth the money. I think the quality of it does represent that same, like whatever the price is, like the quality matches. And I also think that I'm, I'm supporting a business that isn't like this full blown, like it's not a humongous company, right? That has tons of resources. I'm glad that a mainstream movie like James Bond decided to actually wear a more boutique brand like this, like Rogue Territory. It's American, it's like in LA, I think. So, I mean, it's a good way to support a business like that. And I, I, I'm glad that I did. This is a high recommendation for me just because it's a movie. Like I, it gives me that extra like benefit of wearing it. But if it's not in the movie, I would still probably get it anyway. And so I appreciate the purchase regardless. I mean, the movie hasn't come out, right? It's not going to be out for a while. So I'm just wearing it as a regular jacket and I love it. Get yourself one of these and hopefully you'll, um, you'll look more fashionable for it. All right. So the Rogue Territory Supply Jacket. One of my favorite things. I'm Mark Kwok. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you on the next one.